congrats on your amazing single and music video. If I had to sum up that video Thank in you. two words, it'd probably be like epic and thematic. So was that more of an afterthought for you, the video, or were you consciously thinking about that when you guys were creating the song? I think like whenever I write a song for me, like the video is playing in my head already. Like I'm, that's always been like, I, I love music videos. Like I love the visual aspect of everything. Um, so for me, like as soon as we start writing the song, I, I'm picturing certain things, but um, our creative director, Jade has been like really, really awesome. And I know when we were doing the, that won't save us video, he was already kind of like picturing what the natural progression would be into weapon because we wanted to have everything really existing in this same world um so it was something that we were thinking about you know what elements can we bring back what elements um will will we call back from one video to another like the burning door and just kind of like the fiery feeling in the red and blue contrast of uh the way like the lighting was set up and everything so we were, especially once the That Won't Save Us video was done, I think there was a very clear picture of at least like the feeling of what weapon would, would look like. Wow. And when it comes to just creating the video with everything happening with COVID and things, were there, how, how did it differ for you guys in a typical video? Were there any different aspects that you guys had to navigate through? Yeah, the boys couldn't come. Uh, <laughs> yeah. we, we shot it down here. Uh, our parts with uh, with our friends and we rented this little studio thing. We had to rent two of them. The first one did not go well at all. <laughs> um, it was a learning process, but it was pretty good. That remote life. Yeah. <laughs> Second video to remote. The remote life's sick, kind of, actually. Kind of <laughs> For sick. us, at least, because we can, you know, do our whatever, what takes a couple hours rather than sitting on like a set all day, you know? <laughs> yeah. Rip it, rip it down the road, come back. Yeah, yeah I feel like awesome. I feel like you guys still kind of have PTSD from that dreaming alone video shoot where it was oh, like, wow, do you yeah. remember that? It was like you, I think you were on set for like 12 hours before your first shot. In the wilderness. In the wilderness. It was brutal. That yeah, that video, uh, that was a test of everyone. But yeah, it was cool. What was cool about it, it for weapon was that it what we were trying to figure out what's the creative way to shoot this in two different locations without it feeling like it was shot in two different locations because of COVID. And there's a lot of people, most people are like, oh, I love like the projections of the guys and how, and how that was shot. And like, people don't realize that that was a solution, not like an original idea, but it actually ended up working yeah, out dope. great. Yeah, and it, cool. it like felt really good. It felt really like authentic to the video, but that's always the balance is, is finding like, in the same with the that won't save us acoustic where the guys were on tv it's like how do we do this in a way that feels authentic and not just like we're in two separate spaces you know because of covid that i mean i couldn't tell while watching it so that is amazing Yay. i did perfectly that is so yeah, cool well. so when it comes to was that um song created a few months ago a year ago or what time what time around did you guys go around that? for a minute yeah, that yeah. was one of the first ones. Uh, it was the first. The first one. Yeah, it was the <laughs> first one we wrote when the lockdowns started happening. So like at the end of January or something like that, or like mid-February, the guys and I had gone to uh, to work in the studio with Matt and we wrote a couple songs, went home, and then, you know, the plan was to get back sometime in March. And then the lockdowns happened and it was like, okay, so what do we do? Like, how do, you know, how do we proceed? And, and no one knew in the industry. I remember talking to our A&R, Donnie, and he was just like, yeah, nobody's writing right now. None of my artists are doing anything. Everybody's just chilling. Like, and this was only a few weeks in, like trying to, you know, so everyone was kind of waiting it out, seeing what would happen. No one knew it would be a year. Um, and then, you know, Matt, uh, to his credit, our producer, Matt Squire, was kind of like, you know, let's try, let's try this Zoom writing session thing, you know, like I, I found a couple of these cool plugins that like, make it a little bit easier to work remotely. He found a way to like, do the like the team viewer into my computer so he could run the session off my computer type thing. Um, and weapon was the first song we wrote. That's amazing. Have you has it been hard getting the overall vibe from a session just because you are on zoom and there is that lag? Yeah, like, it, so it depends on, it depends on who you're writing with. I think first sessions are, are a bit harder. I had some weird first sessions with people. Um, with Matt, it was fine because we had already had this like really like 
really well established dynamic together so it was a bit easier and we went in it was more casual it wasn't like it was scheduled for this block of time on this date and it's the only time that we have scheduled it was kind of just like hey like you feel like trying to you know work a few hours today so there was no pressure to feel like we had to complete something and it and if we didn't you know it was a waste of a day it was kind of like let's just flex our muscles a little bit see if we could write something and if we can't no worries and i think that really was super super helpful and important in in having successful zoom but like yeah i i love like standing up and walking around the studio and having the like the song kind of just like blaring at max volume through the speakers and just like yelling a bunch of things to see if i could find like a note or a melody or an idea so not having that environment was definitely a bit trickier wow